Mark Neal has taken a leading role in the implementation of sustainable and biodynamic agricultural practices and has been farming vineyards organically since 1984. His commitment to growing grapes organically for Neal family vineyards is personal, starting with the safety of his family who live in the winery and estate vineyard property and extending to the welfare of the vineyard workers, many of whom have been with the company for over 25 years. Organic practices encourage a dynamic system that promotes the health of all beneficial organisms in and around the vineyard, knowing that the health of the soil, the groundwater, the vertebrate and invertebrate life are working together to provide the nutrients and disease resistance necessary for healthy, flavorful fruit goes hand in hand with his concern for the people involved in the process. Well, with organic farming, you have to, um, I think the biggest requirement is dedication to be on the vineyards. A lot, a lot more during the growing season than you would be if commercial farming. Uh, commercial farming, sustainable farming, and, and if you're using like uh, sustainable um, or man-made fertilizers, if you see a problem, you could put the material out today and pretty much get results that week versus organic materials uh, when it comes to fertilizers. And it's the same thing with the pesticides, the same thing with the um, um, the fungicide applications but you know when you're driving down the valley you, you're just assuming you know that they're on a calendar um, they haven't really opened up and thought about other operations it seems like it's just been that year after year versus going a different route or, or experimenting a mm -hmm. different route which I did 25 years ago when I started growing organically Mark's biggest challenge in converting to organic farming may have been to convince his father, Jack. Amazing. I just mentioned to him one afternoon, and then that next morning I started uh, cultivating, and he was gone, and it's like a little unusual, not know where he was at, and he came back around lunchtime with a box of wormy apples from Guerneville, and said, here's your organic farming at the best, and, and that's all he said, and my dad was tough, you know, he had a, you had to have thick skin to work for my dad, and that's all he said, but he gave me my uh, 10 acres about 25 years ago to farm organically. You have to be thinking ahead of time, well, what do I think my problems are going to be or my situations are going to be so you can deal with them. I mean, you know, either years in advance or in some cases or uh, months in advance or, you know, season by season. Because like Mark said, with fertilizer, um, you see a problem in if you're sustainable or conventional, you put in, you know, 12, 26, 26, the standard conventional fertilizer problem pretty much solved, mm. right? You know, a couple weeks. Exactly. Organic fertilizer, that's not the way it works. Um, we have a, a one product we use, and uh, we put it in with our young grapevines when, when we do planting. And, and I swear, you, you, you don't notice it until year number two. And then all of a sudden, the vines just take off. So that's something like, okay, well, if, if you had done it with the conventional, you'd be like, well, wait a minute, what's going on? They just put, spend all this money and put all this stuff in and nothing's happening. Nothing's happened, yeah. Whereas, you know, we're like, okay, we put this stuff on, it's not doing, you know, and then the next year and then the year after that, it just, you know, it's available and the plant's using it and, you know, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Maybe the thing about us is, again, it's, um, It's more to promote my wines that I make mm -hmm. and, and go to winemaker dinners throughout the nation and talk about our organic practices, why we do them. And it's be, and be honest with you, to educate um, people on the road, because they have a little different concept, really. What A lot of them don't know what it is. It sounds great. They don't know the definition. They don't know the reasonings behind or the materials that we can use and not use. You are locked in a box yeah. and have no windows and doors. And you yeah. have to make it work. Otherwise, you're three, day, three years yeah. out. When CCUF says you're out for three years because you stepped over the line and you used a conventional material, mm -hmm. uh, you work really hard to stay inside that box. Because <laughs> it took you three years to get into the box. I gotta wait out, yeah. And so what I'm getting at is that the pressure's on. So. You know, it's not like, well, you know, I'm going to just get this on so I can go play golf this afternoon. You know, you, you work harder to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. And that's, to me, it's always been farming. 
Yeah, I have five kids, um, so the ratio is good that maybe one will be interested in farming. <laughs> you know, farming is tough. Um, but uh, we're setting it up, but we have a you know, few kids that are interested. They're all young still. Um, I'm sort of a late bloomer when it comes to family. And I would probably say that uh, the two oldest ones, Jessica and Zachary, are, especially Zachary, I mean, honestly, he would not be in school at all. There would no be, I mean, there'd be no school for him. Like the school of uh, learning the business would be his priority right now. But uh, we're, you know, we're setting things up so that there's a wine business part of the company and then the vineyard management business and a few other little um, options out there so that there's a broader um, family business versus just one business like my dad's vineyard management business. Mm -hmm.